might try that again up to that point. Or do you want to try and see what we're actually doing there and see if we can take it past that point? Right, let's go past that. Just like a, what, just enough to jam it. Right. I guess. Do it for that tom build? Yeah. Finish it at the end, the good. same as the way you kicked in, like, ja dun dun dun. Oh. This could end up being a really short song as well if you wanted to. I don't even think it's that short. See when we time this, I bet it's about four minutes. Right. Fuck it always is, man. What do you think about the chorus being, drums being like snare first when it first kicks in? What? Is that the rhythm you're playing? Apparently so. <laughs> It uh, feels good! I see like a lot of potential for vocals if that's the good thing that's going on in the chorus, I think. Like, just in terms of melodies. Do you know what I think? What's that? Aye, there's, in choruses we've got usually there's so much going on that it's just clashing with the vocals but it's just quite open to leave it for whatever Kenny wants to do. So I, I could really make this song, I think. Like a pure strong vocal hook. I like that, but maybe it's just because I've never heard the rest of the song after it. But I think I don't know where to go with a song I know, after that section, and I think I think it's that I think it's the section that's thrown it. Maybe. Well, I really this might be the song because I really want to get my fucking ring out at the end of a song, and then this riff comes in. <laughs> It's beautiful. <laughs> oh, I see that I've got after I've not actually got lyrics for it. I can just sing the melody, the melody that I've got, mm -hmm. but I'll just change the lyrics when it comes to it. Mm -hmm. Because the lyrics I've got won't be the final lyrics, I'm just singing this to do to get the melody down. I'm the emptiness inside you! Ah, I don't know if that's right. <clears throat> it's close at least. I just caught that in the camera. <laughs> <laughs>
wrapper. Thank you, sir. No problem. It's the kind of service you get when you can only get good you know. Dug walk. Big dug. Big buzz. <laughs> Where are we? Well, I've actually done Thrash Pakora instead of Alley Idea. So we've done four songs and we'll be starting the fifth shortly. I'd like to say I've hardly broken a sweat, but I still smell like shit. So. I actually had some serious nipple chafage yesterday where the edge of this t-shirt is. It's kind of ribbed for nobody's pleasure it would seem. <laughs> Not even hungover, can you believe it? That fridge might say differently, I'm just looking at all the, the cans in there. I need to get a shot of my victory cans upstairs. So I guess that's a little bit of a tradition. When we tracked Era, I got this 50 or 60 pound bottle of whiskey. And uh, I kept it next to me on a little... I <laughs> got like a little stool for it and I sat it on the... Um, just sat next to me as I was tracking. And after every song I was just looking at it thinking, I can't wait to drink that. This time round I have five cans of craft beer with me, some that I've been looking forward to drinking for fucking months. And they're just sitting upstairs in my room, on top of the fireplace next to a little bleacher within beer glass. That might be sad as fuck and quite creepy, but it's the little things, you know what I mean? They just help you get through it. That's how I get through an album, I don't know what everyone else does. I just set some nice alcohol next to me and dream about fucking tanking it when I'm done. <laughs> oh, I need help. Come on. Oh. <laughs> cool, man. Hey, you know, secret. How's it going for you, Noah? It's going well. Um, it's similar to some of the other sessions we've had where we tend to kind of do a frantic bit of work, filling out a whole song and then going back and kind of chopping in and making sure every part's perfect. The guys are really, really hot on making sure every accent is exactly as it should be. And it takes time, but I think it's worth it to get a good result. Um, we had a couple of technical issues on the first day or two, which can kind of uh, affect your morale a little bit sometimes, but I think we've pushed through pretty well and things are going quite smoothly now, so we're kind of into the thick of it, we've got a good process. Yeah. And that's just definitely. a question of keeping our energy three, up. I three songs a day is definitely a chill working rate, mm. I feel. Yeah. I guess it's worth mentioning this environment, which Tom Miller filmed all of, is great to work in, so being in the same room as Nolly, mm. it's just, uh, you know, I don't have to walk into a separate compartment and fucking shut myself off or whatever. We're literally sitting here making changes and I just walk fucking three metres over there and sit behind the kit. Yeah. Which is a great way to keep up that, I guess, intensity when we're going and I'm all warmed up and stuff. Yeah. You can make really quick changes and drop in. This is definitely the best working environment I think we've ever had. Like, yeah. I'm, I'm naturally always a bit stressed coming into this kind of, just tracking an album, but then coming in and being like, seeing the place and just getting started, it was like, this just feels 
being in the same room and as soon as you said it's like let's go yeah. and the first song started like, is this it yeah it feels great it doesn't yeah it doesn't feel as, as big a deal does it <laughs> <laughs> They're all 11 seconds long or something, but so they just cut off after a while. Bl Floyd. Bl Floyd. Just says it My cow is nothing. It's just baby. Baby. Are you compressing the sound of me having a tin? That's fucking brilliant. Yep. Ten points if you can find that on the album. That's gonna be there. Sex toy. Watch me call it. You know the sound. <laughs> this thing's a fucking. <laughs> One song left. One song left. Oh my god. I can't tell you how this has been a shite summer. Summer of 2021. Is it 2021? Summer of 2021 has just been fucking weekends locked in a fucking studio getting all these parts ready but it's paid off because it's definitely been the most relaxed session that we've ever done so and then Nolly gets to try this wee can of fracture as well are you excited Nolly? I am yeah after all the, the bigging up and the uh, the knowledge that you've bestowed upon me about the brewing of craft beer as I believe it's known are you excited for the bright flavours of mango, pineapple and passion fruit softly balanced with hints of lemon and lime? I am. I, I read that it's a dipper. <laughs> a dipper? <laughs> I'm excited by this, this dipper concept where you double the amount of I's, P's and A's. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I've got like a bungee jump happening this afternoon or something. That's the level of tension and anxiety that I feel, you know? basically what this whole session has been building up to, right? To try the beer that's the signature from the last record. That's, yeah, exactly. that's why it's we're here, really, at the end of the day, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Is it done? Quite underwhelming, actually. You stress about this thing for fucking six months and it's done, you're just like, cool, now we've got everything else to do. You know? Yeah? It's so simple, but all of it. Album number six. How depressing is that? How is that depressing? Who's depressing about that? I just, it's an odd, it's just a reminder of the time that we've been doing this. Because we're so old. Because we're getting old, eh? Six we, we should have had way more albums than that by now. We've been a band for 15 years. That's true. 
This is the equivalent of a victory lap. Taking your top off after you score a goal, you play football, do you know what I mean? Yes! I don't blame you. It's either that, or I'm going to really enjoy it and drink it too quickly, and then we're going to have problems. <laughs> doesn't, taste, doesn't taste 8%. There you go, mate. Looks lovely. Tremendous bouquet. Extremely deep, rich, aromatic, juicy. Um, Cheers. Cheers. Great job, even though it's not quite finished. We have all the dubs to do, but they're, they're going to yeah. forget about that. Cheers. That's Album it. fucking sucks. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, boys. Cheers. 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 That is really nice. Fucking great, isn't it? Yeah. Almost like it's, I forget how fruity it is. Can't actually. Taste Just tastes like yeah. Delicious. Oh, that's delicious actually. Which you can order now. Brewed by Overton. I quite like this Brewed tea coming thing. soon. What's the next record going to be? Well, sorry. What's this record going to be called? I don't know yet. It was a working title of Sovereign. I'm just waiting to see if it becomes sort of better. Is I quite like it because it means like. Like supreme ruler, so it's like kind of as us being at our highest point, but also the <laughs> sovereign yeah, nation of Scotland. Scotland. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it also makes me think of the Queen a wee bit, and it's, yeah, it's easy to forget too. It's too long. Yeah, technically the sovereign at the moment. So yeah. it could sound like you're kind of yeah. hailing her. She could die between now and when it gets released, and then it would seem like a tribute. <laughs> Just sit in the big room and have a can. <laughs> Whew, that is a fruity wee number. Even better knowing that the album is fucking died. Drums are done. Everything else is still to be done. That's why I feel like this isn't the same sensation that I've had in the past when we finished albums. Or at least with Era, I had this massive blowout when we were done because it was like fucking three or four years in the making. Whereas this one turned around pretty quickly. And there's still... Uh, Ton of work to be done, but yeah, it feels good. top on the dotted crotches. And a one, two, three, ah!
So soft and delicate. <laughs> <laughs> he actually stopped because he got a pinger. <laughs> pinger? Oh. I haven't heard that word he in years. Got a little pinger. <laughs> got a little pinger. I heard that. Did you? Underneath it all! So let's try and get a... Try and get a lower, lower take of that same line. Okay. We're, 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 we're buried underneath it all! Yeah. We're buried underneath it all! Yeah. The worst is yet to come! Come! <laughs> no, I still got only saying come. <laughs> come! <laughs> Can we just do the come again? Everyone else just come! <laughs> I'm just in here for about 20 minutes going, come! <laughs> for you, I'll spin it again and again! I see this army of the ill and foreign, alpha blood, alpha war. <laughs> I conjure all the strength it takes to defy adversity, but in my dreams I'm dying. Show me freedom in my time, trapped inside I'm going out.
vocals to get a bit louder at that moment. Don't yeah, they? Mod, yeah, I think the intended effect is that the vocals are all kind of sparse until that fights it, really. So as long as it jumped up, it's good. Yeah. I want to say bring up the lead guitars because I am, in fact, a guitarist, but I don't know if yeah. we can. I think that's something we should I think we should bring the lead guitar down a wee bit, and if you bring the bass down a wee bit, and then maybe left and right guitars a wee bit, and just bring the vocals down a wee bit as well, yeah. and then we should be very good. And then the kick drum fader, just, just up into the red, man. <laughs> <laughs> I personally felt like the guitars could come up a touch for that intro. It's like when the octaves are on, they don't cut through quite as much. Yeah. I, will, gonna... I will never fight you on that. Oh. <laughs> That's what I would say. <laughs> Second bed. 